Hey everyone, Chef Jason Hill here, and today I'm going to finally prepare my wife's personal espresso brownie recipe. She came up with this a long time ago, and we've been wanting to make it for you guys for a while, so let's get started. We're going to start out by grinding a half a cup of dark roast espresso beans, and I recommend you doing this if you want the most intense flavor. Just going to use your little coffee grinder here. You want them to get ground up to a fine consistency. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's preheat our oven to 300 degrees. I'm gonna turn my burner on to low heat. And we're gonna melt down one and a quarter cup of sweet butter. Now that our butter is completely melted, I'm going to add eight ounces of Baker's chocolate. And it's unsweetened. And I broke it up so it'll melt a little faster. Drop that in there. And you'll want to stir this as it melts. And then we're also going to add one ounce of the semi sweet, high quality chocolate chips. Ooh, gosh, that looks good. Now grab your mixer or a large mixing bowl and we're going to add three and a half cups of granulated sugar to our bowl, followed by the ground espresso. And then we're gonna mix on low speed until it's well incorporated. And now I'm gonna bump my speed up to about medium and slowly pour in our melted chocolate. Those who leave chocolate behind are losers. Now that we've mixed in the chocolate, let's drop in six whole eggs, followed by two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And continue to mix until that is well incorporated. Look at the eggs, oh no! Oh, you can really smell that vanilla. And the espresso, oh man. All right, after our eggs come together, we're gonna add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And mix that on low until it is well blended. Okay, push down the sides again, just kind of work it until the flour is completely incorporated into this wonderful chocolate. How's that looking? We almost there? Yeah. What are you, a mime? Can't speak over there? <laughs> Frankie talks on Diane, you know? You hear him in the background? <laughs> I really want people to believe I have a wife. I'm not just making this up. Okay, now, guess what? We had more chocolate. I have two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And we're just gonna fold these in here with our spatula. Oh, wow. Who wants to lick the spatula? <laughs> Katie's back there. <laughs> Now I'm going to take a 9 by 13 baking dish and you can either butter it and flour it or you can use parchment paper and some cooking spray. That's what I'm going to do. And then now we're just going to pour in the mix. Kind of spread it around as best you can, especially if you're using the parchment paper. I just trim some of the paper off. It's going to go into the preheated 300 degree oven for up to 70 minutes, but we're going to check it at 50 minutes. We are at 70 minutes now, and I'm going to check it for a third time. Clean enough. You want a little bit of gooiness on there. Oh, yeah. 
Mm. Well, I hope you like my wife's espresso brownie recipe. Give it a try. Mmm. Espresso. I like them room temperature, but my wife recommends cooling them in the refrigerator and having them with your coffee in the morning. Thanks for tubing in. For more simple and delicious recipes, click on these links. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.